Governor of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, Dr. Nandalal Virasinghe, has said Sri Lanka would have faced a serious crisis if the repayment of debt was not suspended. He made this statement speaking at a conference titled Sri Lanka's Future Beyond the Economic Crisis. We had only 25 million US dollars in reserves in a country that had to pay back 6 billion of debt in 12 months. We didn't even have money to service our short-term debt. At that time, we discussed with the government and pointed out these matters to them, subject to the approval of the cabinet. A decision was reached to temporarily suspend the repayment of debt. I must say that this was the best decision that could have been taken at that time. I have seen some people say that it is because we announced bankruptcy that we are here today as a country. What we did at that time was temporarily suspend the repayment of debt. Technically announcing bankruptcy and suspend the payment of debt are two things. If one announces bankruptcy, we are saying that we no longer had the means to pay debt and we are selling all of our assets and paying off our creditors. We temporarily suspended the repayment of debt to prevent a situation like that. We informed our creditors that we don't have the capability to repay the debt right now and requested them to restructure our debt and temporarily suspending our debt repayment until that is done is something different. Although we say that we will be able to pay our debts in the future, there has to be someone who guarantees that we will be able to pay our debt in the future. The IMF provides a guarantee that Sri Lanka will be able to pay back their debt. I don't believe that you and I would have been here if you didn't do that. We took the best decision that we could have taken at that time. Is it true that there was a possibility of discussing with creditors and resolving the issue without temporarily suspending the repayment of debt? The governor of the central bank also responded to this. I hear some people debating, saying that instead of suspending the repayment of debt, we could have contacted someone over the phone and gotten the debt restructured. No in history has a loan given to a country being restructured over a phone call. That is a complete lie. Some people say foolish things like this is an excuse, but I believe that the people understand these matters. The governor of the central bank also responded to allegations that the people had to be burdened with many taxes due to the decision to seek assistance from the IMF. People should be asked if they want the VAT to be increased to 18% or the income tax be increased to 45%. Those are two choices we have. The best way of reducing the tax burden on individuals is to distribute the tax burden among many. I don't know any other way that this can be reduced. A professional who is a friend of mine said, Governor, I like paying taxes, but we can't see anything happening even though we pay taxes. I responded saying, if you want to see what is happening, go and look in the mirror and see. How did you follow your education in this country? How did your son study at the university? Where is your son working now? If he is working in the state sector, the government is paying his salary. You have come to where you are professionally with the money of the taxpayers. If everyone says that they are not going to pay taxes until they see something happening, the tax burden of the few will increase. The VAT will have to maybe increase to 20 percent. If not, not, the personal income tax of the person who pays 30% will have to be increased to 36%. Those who pay income taxes will continue to pay. Tax evasion is rampant in this country. The other important matter is governance and corruption. Because of bad governance and corruption, many people can evade taxes. That too should be addressed.